in this session we will learn about robust scaling concepts so first of all like robust scaling it will scale the features using statistical formula that are robust to or outliers and the formula that we use in robust scaling is each column it will take the each features minus q2 which is the median divided by upper quartile minus the lower quartile q3 is the upper quartile and q1 is the lower quartile we will see when we will be working with with our formulas now in robust scaler it removes the median and scale the data according to the quartile quartile range and which is fall to interquartile range and the interquartile range is the range between the first quartile and the third quartile centering and scaling happens independently on each feature like we have to get the interquartile upper quartile and median for each and every feature by computing the relevant statistics formula so let's start what we will what i have done is uh, we will import the pandas and numpy library and then what we'll do we'll uh, import the pre processing from sklearn and we also have our five rows one column array so we'll simply execute this and our array is created so in spite of wasting time i've just already have given the array which we are going to use now we need to create the object of robust scalar we'll give our robust is equals to pre processing dot robust scalar okay and we'll execute this so our object for the uh, robust scalar is created and then we need to apply this so our row be robust dot fit and the dot transform we need to apply on which on this uh, array x we execute this and if we print it now x under robust this is the scale after the transformation this is my column but i am not sure whether my output is correct or not so we will evaluate it so what we'll do we'll call, calculate the upper quartile q1 is equals to np dot quantiles sorry np dot percentile and we will give which is x comma 25 which is the first quartile then the median x2 is equals to np dot percentile x comma 50 and then the upper quartile q3 which is equals to np dot percentile x comma 75 now we and then what we'll do we'll print then upper quartile what we'll do we'll execute this and we'll see what is our respective values okay here if you see first upper quartile is minus 100 lower quartile is 100 and lower quartile is minus 100 upper quartile is 100 and the median is 0 the formula will go like this if you have minus 500 so you have to sort the values and then you have to get the uh, median middle value so 0 and then now from 0 till 500 which is your middle value minus 100 which is your lower quartile then again from 0 the middle value till the largest value you get the mean so in this case it is 100 so 100 is my upper quartile our formula says the formula which we have is so here xi will be is nothing but my this value x is my array okay i'll replace it by x now we'll execute this so we this is exactly the same what we have got here right minus so i'll run it again and see how it is coming from here till here so we can see the value exactly matches which is like minus 2.5 minus 0.5 0 0.5 and 4.5 okay so this is how we will use uh, will apply robust scalar on a array which is like have five rows and one column or one column with n number of rows okay now what we'll do we'll apply it on a array of 3 by 3 dimensions so let us say we have an array okay so our array is created now in this case if we want to apply the robust scalar it will be very simple robust scalar to is equal to our object is already created robust robust dot fit underscore transform and then we need to pass this x1 after this we'll print so this is our value now if you want to calculate what as per the definition centering and scaling happen independently on each and every feature so if you take this first column 
So if we calculate it, if we do the calculation manually, then for the first item, xi will be 2. So 2 minus 2 minus q2, which is q2 is how much? 4. 2 minus 4. First of all, if you are calculating the uh, interquartile range median and uh, if you are calculating the lower quartile upper quartile and the median for the first column so for that it will be 4 plus 6 divided by 2 which is 3 so q1 will be 3 q1 is equals to 4 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 3 which is equals to divided by 2 which is equals to 3 now q2 is simply you know is 4 for the first column here I am just trying to show you and q3 will be equals to 7 plus 4 divided by 2 which is equals to 11 divided by 2 is 5 point. Now if you want to apply the formula the first column applying the same formula x minus q2 so here what is my x x is 2 2 minus q2 is how much 4 4 divided by divided by what q3 minus q1 how much is q3 5.5 and q1 is 3 so which will be 5.5 minus 3 and you can see it is minus 0 0.8 now if you want to calculate for the next for the uh, for the second uh, this for this 4 4 minus 4 will be 0 so it is 0 now for third item we'll take for third item will be the formula is x minus q2 so, so x is how much 7 7 minus q2 is how much q2 is 4 divided by again the same q3 minus q1 5.5 minus 3 which is 1.2 now if even if you are not sure i will show you with the second column for the second column what is my q1 q2 and q3 it is very simple q q1 will be 5 plus 2 divided by 2 which is 7 by so 3 point q2 is simply 5 and q3 is 5 plus 8 is 13 divided by 2 which is equals to 6 point sorry uh, 6.5 now if you want to calculate using the same formula x minus q2 so the first element how it will be calculated will be 2 minus q2 q2 is how much 5 divided by now q3 minus q1 what is q3 6.5 minus q1 q1 is how much 3.5 so which is minus 1. the next item will be again 5 minus of q2 which will be 0 so i am not calculating it here it's simple the third element will be x x is how much 8 8 minus q2 q2 is 5 divided by 6.5 minus 3.5 which is 1 so this is how like, it's calculated so this is how we can easily convert data set we can scale a data set using a robust scale i'll show you one more example by importing a pandas data set so that how we will do we'll import pandas as pd and then what we'll do we will create a df i have a sa age salary data set df is equal to pd dot if i give here df dot info so you see i have the salary which is 0 1 2 3rd 0 1 2 3 third column is my salary okay so i want to extract the salary column only because i want to apply the feature for uh, uh, feature scaling on the salary data salary column so if i give the other head also you can you can see salary is quite like a big number so we need to apply feature scaling on the on that column so how do we apply first we need to extract so you'll get features is equals to df dot dialog and then we'll say column comma three dot values we'll execute this now what is my feature features contain this entire well, the, the entire column is extracted in the feature. Okay, what we'll do? We will add one more column as feature underscore scale, which is equals to our robust object is already there. Robust dot. We need to fit underscore transform, and then what we need to pass? We need to pass this feature. So if you see this df here, df the value is feature scaling is done. Now, if you want to calculate again this using the same formula. Okay, here. So, what we need to do, we will take this and instead of this x, what will pass? Features. Now, we have this. What I will do, I will add one more column, robust. Because we need to verify whatever is being calculated and what we are, what is the, the algorithm what is giving from scikit-learn library and what we are calculating manually, it should match. 
So that is my sole intention. So here we will pass features minus q2 divided by q3 minus q1. So we will execute this and ideally when we calculate now uh, the column robust and the feature scale should be equal, should be the same. You can see this is absolutely match each and every value in this feature scale and the robust column is matching. So I have shown you how to apply feature scaling on a single column then how to apply the feature scaling, uh, the robust scaling, specifically the robust scalers uh, on a 3 by 3 matrix and also have applied uh, by importing a data set and then by verifying whether the value what we have scaled is correct or not. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.